What do you do when you come to a dead end in your life and there's no understanding of what's going on? There's no answers. There's no answers. The human mind cries out for an answer. The human soul wants to hear from God. A human being is empty without the Lord. It's only my friend. He's the only one that can fill up that void in your soul. It's God Almighty. You can try religion. You can try good works. You can try the law. You can try fellowship, self-help books. Wag yourself out with everything on this earth. But nothing will fill the place of God in the human soul. And that's exactly what Satan intends to do. He wants to drive a wedge between you and the Lord. He wants to put up a wall that separates you from God. And he does it in your mind. The mind is the battleground where Satan does his worst in the mind of a human being. For the mind is constantly working, thinking, alert, considering, considering the alternatives and the circumstances, thinking of a way out, trying to figure this or figure that. This is why the Bible said that you need the mind of Christ. For the Bible says that there is a mind that is not of Christ. It is, a, it is an earthly mind. It is a fleshly mind. It's a mind that relies upon itself for its power and understanding. But the mind of Christ is one that trusted, that thrust itself into the arms of God, that thrust itself into the hands of the Lord. The mind of Christ is one that reaches up and takes hold of God and says, regardless of what happens, you always do right. You never have done wrong. I may never understand it, but I know you, and that's good enough. I know whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded he's able to keep that which I've committed to him against that day. Oh, how easy our pride feeds itself by being able to figure everything out and have an answer for all of life's situations and circumstances. But make no mistake about it, you'll not figure everything out and you don't have an answer for all of life's problems and situations. Things can come upon you that defy understanding and explanation absolutely beyond human ability. And you wonder, where's God? Where is God? He's where he always is, between the cherubim that oversees everything that happens, that upholds all things by the word of his power, that keeps Keeps it all going. The Apostle Paul said all the sufferings of life, all the problems that we face, everything that can happen to a human being is a small thing, this light affliction, which is but for a moment when he compared that with eternity, when the skies roll back and heaven opens, when you walk into the presence of an eternal being that is from everlasting to everlasting, you'll forget what was behind and all you'll care about is what is before. It won't matter anymore because he's God. God, and that's all that matters. That's all that ever has mattered. And so my friend, that will come upon you. The time will come when you'll make heavy decisions. You'll have to choose whom you serve. You'll have to choose whether you're going to live for him or not, regardless of whether he does what you want him to do. You're going to make a choice. Do I live for him or do I take the wrong path? Every man's got a breaking point. Every man's got a time when he comes in his life where he has to make a real decision. Every man's got a time in his life when he takes eternity and death, hell, and the grave, life and limb and money and fame and fortune and people and breath and everything there is that means anything to you. Every man's got a time where he comes to a breaking point. Jeremiah came to a breaking point. You'll come to a breaking point. You'll come to a point of decision where your life will make a choice. You'll go on with God or you'll go against God. You'll go on with him or you'll turn your back on him. Thanks be unto God when they lowered Joseph down into the grave. They put him down in that hole, into that tomb. Joseph had a spirit come upon him that stayed with him for the rest of his life. Unlike Jeremiah, Joseph said, you men to be evil. God meant it to be good. He could look beyond his circumstances. He could look beyond that hole. He could look beyond what was happening here and now and he saw a greater purpose. And that's where God lifts you up. That's where God gives you life. It's when you're able to see as God sees. See with God's wisdom and not with the wisdom of men. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what tomorrow brings. I have no idea what the next day is going to be. But I know my God lives. I know he lives. He'll always live. I live because he lives. There is no life outside him. Bless his holy, righteous, eternal name.